Here we have a 2012 Lexus LS460. This one comes in Starfire Pearl on light tan leather seats. And the powertrain consists of a 4.6 liter naturally aspirated V8, made into an eight speed sequential automatic transmission. And that puts out 357 horsepower. And as we get to the front end here, we have our daytime running lights along with our high intensity discharge headlamps and then fog lights down there. And then down here we have 18 inch aluminum wheels. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. Memory seat functions, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. And there's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. Gonna hop in here. And pretty impressive leg room. I'm 6'3", and the seat in front of me is adjusted for someone of my size. And this is just the standard. This isn't even the L, the longer wheelbase. And I still have plenty of room. So really impressive. And then here we have the controls for the heated seats for the rear. And then we also have a power blind as well. So you can one touch open and close that. And then you have our cup holders there. And along with that, you also get your rear AC vents. And then there's a 12 volt way down there. And then have a little additional storage as well. And I was just in a S550 and it's pretty similar. Have the rear vanity mirrors. And it's just crazy that this ticket for 11 grand less at 76,000. And right now you can get them for about the same price. Both around 20, 22,000. Big shout out to Auto Collection of Murfreesboro for letting me review this today. So for our trunk space, of course, I always forget you have to open the Lexus up from the front, but I like that it's a power lift gate here. So you just hit this button and it'll shut, but tons of space. There we go. And we'll check out the front passenger seat. And there's that front passenger seat there, there's power. And now we're gonna check out what's under the hood. And there's that naturally aspirated 4.6 liter underneath all of that. I like how that's shut, shut pretty easily. Now it's hopping the driver's seat. So to start out with nice leather and wood grain steering wheel here, which is also power tilt and telescoping and we can also heat that and it actually still works in really good shape 
And then over to the radio here we have our navigation system. And then we have AM, FM, XM along with Bluetooth audio. And we have an aux and a USB as well. And of course a CD drive. There's our backup camera there. And we can mess with the display, contrast, brightness. And then here we have our settings here. And then we have our climate controls. Which is gonna be dual zone automatic. And then down here we have the CD drive and this one's a Mark Levinson surround sound system. So really high quality sound performance there. These are really good systems. And down here we have that kind of matching wood grain going on throughout. But our shifter here, reverse, neutral, drive, and then we can manually shift here all the way to the eighth gear, if we so please. And then we have our traction modes here. So we can put it either in power or snow mode. And then we can toggle the traction control on and off. And then here we have our heated cooled seats for the driver and front passenger. We can toggle the rear heated seats in the back. And then we can power that rear blind from up here as well. Then we have a nice center console cubby with a moving trail. I like how they did that so we can kind of be scooted out of the way. And then we have our USB and aux input down there along with the 12 volt. And then here we have our power sunroof, which we can one touch, tilt or slide open and close. There's a view of that back seat one more time. There's our glove compartment with owner's manuals and I like how they did that. They really utilize the space. And up there we have a universal garage door transmitter. And then to our steering wheel, we have our volume controls. I really like how they did this right behind the steering wheel on the left side. And then we even have a brake hold here, which is crazy in a 2012. That's the oldest I've seen it in. Then a Bluetooth control. And then we have our trackless control here. And we can toggle our modes between AM, FM, and then satellite. Hitting the wrong button to turn that down. But over to the right side, we have the Bluetooth controls we can hang up or pick up. And then we have our gauge cluster display, which we can toggle there. Now I like how easy it is to use. You just keep tapping the display button and it's really all the stuff that you need. So tire pressure, range, your average in terms of fuel mileage. And down here we have our cruise controls. And then down here we have our electronic parking brake. So that's pretty neat. And this one has just a little over 127,000 miles. There's our push button start. And finally, here's our key fob. But next is time we take this 2012 Lexus LS460 all wheel drive out on the road for a quick test drive.
So I really like how this car drives. And the drive modes are very responsive. So the eco mode definitely helps save on fuel. You can tell by how the engine revs. And then the, the ECT between power and snow, you can tell the differences in that as well. But it has quite a few nifty features to it. And of course, ride quality is fantastic. I'd say it's on par with the S-Class and the S-Class might beat it out with the 19 inch setup or if it's got an 18 inch setup, I can't remember if it does, but those ride quality, this ride quality is on par with the one I just drove that had 20 inch wheels on it. And you still have plenty of pickup in eco mode a lot of eco modes today, you have to put your foot halfway into the floor for it to go. But this really does its thing when you're just slowly accelerating or cruising. Tries to get to the highest gear possible to keep the engine revs low. But just a really solid ride from this car. And the brake pedal and gas pedal feel are both very plush. I don't feel like it's out of whack or I have to adjust my foot accordingly or the brakes are too sticky or too soft. Everything is just perfectly matched. But we're gonna take the eco mode off here and give it a little throttle. Definitely pulls really well. Really good pull from this car. And personally, I just drove a 5.5 liter V8 in a S550 Mercedes. I feel like this engine pulls better. It might be the eight speed transmission or just how the electronics were set up, but it just made more sense accelerating. And for this to be a 10 year old car, really everything is in decent shape in terms of how it works. The, um, the trim around the radio is a little faded, but I don't know if that's just from someone being rough with it, if it got scratched up, 
or if it's just normal wear and tear which of course that's an easy fix you can either wrap it in something or repaint it or whatever but I mean this steering wheel is in immaculate shape especially the wood grain which still looks beautiful And I've seen plenty of older body style LS's that have 250, 300,000 miles on them still going. So these tend to be really reliable in that aspect. But can't say enough about how nice the ride is. Just really, really nice. And hearing the silence, the acoustics in here are super, super great. Uh, definitely in the luxury class. Yeah, I love how quick it is off the line and the shifts are seamless. No hesitation whatsoever. So far, I've been really impressed with this car all the way around. Just how it's held up over 10 years, 127,000 miles, how well it drives even now, how well the ride quality is. Just really impressive all the way around. I mean, this average is about 20 miles a gallon, which is impressive for this kind of vehicle. But this is going to bring me to the end of my review of the 2012 Lexus LS460 all-wheel drive.